Hey guys, and you YouTubians. Right, today we're going to go on a bit of a tangent because what I want to talk to you about today is actually software and PCs. You know when you download one of them programs and you're not sure if it's trusted and then some kid might end up opening up your webcam or opening up your microphone and listening to your conversations in your room and I'm telling you now, I've got Bitdefender, I've had it twice, maybe three times, I'm not too sure, over the past three years I've used it but it has happened even to me. Now Bitdefender is meant to be one of the best programs in the world. The problem is, it doesn't have the usability to see exactly what's going on. So we've got Glasswire 1.2, which is a new, essentially revolutionary sort of visual program that will show you exactly what's connected, at what time and when, it has a firewall and it essentially allows you to block people from connecting to your network. So if some kid does connect to it, you can block the IP and see exactly who they are. So what I want to do now is just run you through it because it's it's a problem. It's a problem I mean, yeah. if you've got Bitdefender, yeah. it's a problem, right? Yeah, definitely. Now, and <laughs> how, how would you deal with keep it? Your PC safe. No. So, so these guys are essentially modding legit programs and then making them look exactly the same but they're adding a little bit of coding right and what that does is it opens ports for them and it'll ping them when, they, when it opens the ports to your webcam to your to your audio mic i mean you might be sat there going oh crap what's that what's that password again and you're trying a couple of passwords and then you, oh yeah i remember it's blah 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 and you're just giving your password away because these guys are listening to you these little well they the enter they, they put key loggers on everything key loggers yeah but but Bit defender might spot key loggers but the difference is with your webcam and your microphone you are still quite vulnerable Bit Defender did not pick it up for me either time that I actually did it mm. and then trying to find out who is actually on it if you haven't got a clue about that kind of stuff about a check who's on your system how would you know? Mm. so what I want to do is show you Glasswire because Glasswire takes all the complicated crap out of it does all the work for you and it shows you exactly who's on your network when they're connected and if they still are and it's got a firewall and allows you to block them so it's a good little system for PC noobs it's oh, yeah. the, even if you don't feel like you're a noob this is a great little system so let's take a look shall we and Definitely. see why I think that this is what I would class as the future of keeping your computer safe and we and all youtubers need a PC or a laptop so let's go Okay, so this is Glasswire 1.2. Now, there was an earlier edition where he had problems with the graph, as you can see it right now, and it was down to um, it, it not being able to actually hold all the information um, if you scan back, which has now been cached, so it's working okay. So if you look, you've got language support, first of all, and then you've got customizable uh, skins for colours, so they can suit your needs and suit your eye. You've got settings, you can turn it on to snooze, go incognito, uh, and a few other little bits and bobs. So looking back at the graph, as you can see, you've got firewall, graph, usage, network, and alerts. And then you can customise how far back on the graph you'd like to look back to from when you first installed it. And you can also drag and drop to actually zoom in on a particular place in time. Uh, now all the numbers at the bottom they represent different connections at different times and by flicking through you can get to a particular place that you might want to actually investigate and see the bandwidth that's being used whether it's download or upload you can also check things like uh, app resources how, how many resources each are using what they're downloading in real time so this is where it can actually help save your system resources if you've got quite a slow laptop for example you can you can see exactly what you need to close down all in one place and then moving on to firewall you can see exactly what's been granted access and how much it's using in a smaller graph on the right hand side and then you can click to block and actually decide what you want working on your network if it should be allowed and also do Google searches on what these programs actually are if you're unsure. So it's quite a good visual representation. Then it's going to show you 
what your download and your upload amounts have been and which of these programs has been doing most of them. uTorrent at, the, at that particular time would have been quite high because I was downloading a particular program. You can see what your apps are doing, which apps you've got installed, what traffic you've got, who's on your network at any given time. Now this is where it comes in quite handy for things like people who have accessed your webcam, people that have accessed your microphones. And then we've got alerts of first use, what activity has been going on. This is basically a, a log of what's been happening on your system whilst you might have been away from your PC. So as you can see it's quite flexible, it seems to be quite easy for anyone to use. It's You simply click a button and it will take you straight to what you want to see. Like I say you can drag and drop, you can see how far back you want from when you first installed the program. Now I've had this a couple of months and I've had absolutely zero issues of crashing, which is an issue that 1.0 had. So the, the devs did work hard to get this fixed and, and essentially did a lot of redesign. Now let's take a look at this. Now if, if you're on your graphs, you can click the actual number and it will show you the IP of each of the, uh, the items that I've actually connected to your network, what the item was doing at the time, so it could be an update to a program, it could be an update to Microsoft, something like that. So it gives you a very detailed and in-depth review of your PC in real time. And let's face it, we can't all sit there and watch what's going on with our PC all the time. Now I have my PC on 24-7, so it comes in handy to check back 24-48 hours, depending on when I was last on it, and see exactly what's been happening because it could be that something's happened while I've been away from my computer. You can also take snapshots and use them in graphs, use them for presentations, things like that. Things that might, but you know, if you're a PC guy, you might be doing a particular video where this could also help you gather information on a program you're running that you might be doing a review on and things like that. So it's actually quite cool for other uses as well in a visual aspect. So there we go, that is Glasswire 1.2. Now I'm rating this a 10 out of 10 because I just think, I'm not the kind of person that would know how to find out where how somebody's got into my network, what they're actually doing, what where they, where they come from. And this gives me the ability to track them down and I love it. So you've seen Glasswire and hopefully it's enlightened you slightly and maybe it's for you. If it is for you, uh, it's for me, definitely. Because my PC sits on there 24 hours a day, as you, yeah. as my, Michael <laughs> will verify that. He's a, it, it, run, it runs like a server, it never gets turned off. So, and I download a lot of programs, I need to do some funky stuff. How about you? Have you ever been hit with anything like that? Oh, I've been hit with ransomware and all that. Uh, you, you know, I've had a few people try and enter me a webcam. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is a problem. So, hopefully this gives you an option. Now, the option might not be for you, it might be for you. Personally, I love this program. I just think it cuts right through the bullshit, right through all the tech jargon, shows me exactly who's doing what and when they started doing it. And it might even give you an idea of what you downloaded. It shows you what you want to see. Yeah, and you can choose to have the firewall on or turned off. If you've got another firewall it conflicts with, you can turn it off. You don't need the firewall. What I love is the graph side of it. The graph is just so versatile. It shows you where all your resources are as well, which... If I had it on my laptop, which lags all the time, even with the simplest things sometimes, I'll be able to find what's causing all that lag and show you down. Yeah, and that might be somebody else downloading your files. Oh, you probably. Know? And if you, if you know, it empowers you. It gives you the resources to find out what the hell is going on. And that is invaluable. I mean, do you want to be the, the guy that's sat there going like this? I'm looking! But I don't know what the fuck is going on!
You don't need to be that guy. You be the smart cookie. You be the one that knows exactly what's happening. I've messed my hair up now, haven't I? What's left of it. You be the guy that knows exactly what is going on in your system. If you're a girl and you have no computer knowledge, this is probably for you. Because, not, I mean, no offence to you ladies, but you might not spend as much time on a PC as some of us gents do. Now, if that's you, try it out. Check out, look out for trials, and go to Glasswire. Because trust me, it is number one for checking stuff that your antivirus will not pick up. And it will show you your entire system resources. It is brilliant. Anyway, guys, take care. Mikey, any, any last words? Give me glass wire. <laughs> no. See you soon.